touchdown, how frustrating was that touchdown drive to Pittsburgh? Oh, it's, it's super frustrating. Of course, you don't want to give up a touchdown or anything during the drive. And, um, you know, they just found a way, you know, right at the end of the game to, to make that one play more than us. And, uh, you know, and uh, they did a great job and got the win today. Josh, what changed for them? I mean, you guys held them to three points for the first three quarters. Time of possession was really in your favor in the first half. I mean, you know, in your mind, what happened? Uh, really, I just they just started to get the momentum going. And they, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a battle. I mean, every time we play Pittsburgh, it's just it's just one of those old school battles. And they, you know, found a way to get some movement going, get stuff rolling for them offensively. And obviously, it turned into a touchdown in a really important stage of the game. And um, in, this, in, this, in this game, um, not just this game, but just in the NFL in general, it's always that one play away. And um, they made that one extra tonight to win the game. Josh, um, you guys don't make excuses. I know you were always saying next man up, but John told us about Marlon. You guys are barely practicing, but then you were corners all week. How, how difficult have the injuries made it on defense, uh, specifically late in the game when a couple of our guys dropped? Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, whoever's in still got to make plays. Yeah, uh, That's just what it comes down to. We still got to know what's going on. And uh, I was one of those guys at one point in time wasn't playing, but then my numbers call, I had to step in and play and be ready. So uh, that's what the league is about. And you never know when your opportunity may be. And it might be one of the most crucial points of the game. And you never know. That might be your last opportunity in this game or in the league. Or it might be a first of many. And uh, whoever's out there just got to be able to step up and, and just, you know, play the Raven way. And we just we got to find a way to, you know, come out victory in these games like this. If, if Marlon does have to miss some time, how big of a challenge is it for the defense to kind of pick up overall? Because, you know, everyone knows about Marlon being Yeah, I don't, I don't really know the extent of whatever it is with Marlon at all. Uh, we just got to – we'll figure that out as the, you know, the week goes and, and whatnot. Uh, you know, just, you know, we just, we'll figure that out when it comes. I, I really don't know. Josh, in, in a kind of coin flip game like this, do you fixate on, on one specific play that could have gone another way, or is it just a, the kind of – I mean, honestly, if we, if we would have converted that two-point conversion, we'll have a different conversation right now. You know what I mean? Let's just be real. Uh, we'll be talking about all these ways, how we find a way to win and all the other stuff. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, they found a way to make the one play, and when we didn't. And that's just you know what it came down to, and that's what these games are about, especially this late in the season. And they made that one extra play, and that's all that mattered. They got that one extra point in us, and they came out victorious. Josh, with the Bengals losing, do you feel like there's a little bit of a missed opportunity here today to try to create some extra distance? Honestly, it's just one game at a time because we still have what, – what, what, how many games are going to play already? Jesus Christ, 12, 12 many games? We got five more games left. It's 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 still a long season, you know. What I mean, we used to be talking about four and whatever how many games we're playing now, but uh, we've got five more games left. And obviously, every one of these matter. And you know, I don't really care who won or who lost, but obviously, I want us to win. That's just that's just the most important goal. Uh, but obviously, you know, we know we got to get back to the drawing board this week, and we got to come out these uh these uh this four game quarter, you know, plus two at least, and not uh. Not 50%. Uh, percent. As, you know, I'm going off of four games because we just played our, what, third or whatever, second, I don't know, whatever. You know what I mean. <laughs> I'm breaking it down. I know we got one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm breaking it down four and four. All right. Enough after the bye. When you see your head coach go for it like that at the end of the game, what does it tell you about him and what are your thoughts? Oh, he's aggressive. He wanted to win the game. Uh, he wanted to put us in the uh, right situation. I said, that, like I said before, if we converted a two-point conversion, it would be a whole different conversation to have right now. And, um, and I, you know, I, I appreciate Coach and I, everything and then some. He want to be aggressive. And he was such a big game, especially in the FC North, and to come out victorious. And it's aggressive. And like I said, if we converted it, we'll be having this conversation about how Coach was such a brilliant and all these other things that you guys say. And then now we didn't convert it, now it's all, you know, crap going to come out, whatever. So we just want to, you know, at the end of the day, we just got to find a way to win games so we wouldn't be in that situation from the get-go. And uh, that's what it's all about. But as a player, when your coach is that aggressive, what does it tell you? This is hardball. I love hardball, and I love him through and through. I'm okay with every decision he makes. Good. Thanks, Thanks for